Sora battles her father in Supergirl issue 2. So this issue saw the girl of steel fighting her father who is actually the new 52 version of Cyborg Superman. Uh, he was turned by Brainiac and became sort of like the silver surfer to Brainiac's Galactus and he's broken free from that and now he's his own villain sort of thing. The thing is he's not really a villain he's he just wants to bring back the world he knew and the world he loves his daughter he loves and everything but Kara doesn't really want anything to do with him because she doesn't think that it is really her father and everything and it was great that they're actually bringing more family back into this issue which is something I've been saying since the start of Rebirth is what Superman and the Superman family have been missing is that family aspect where they're they're all sort of one big family and everything and while we still haven't had any interactions between the pre-Flashpoint Superman and the new 52 Supergirl I imagine we'll be getting it pretty soon considering they're you know battling it out in the Fortress of Solitude and all over the place you know there's people running around looking like Superman destroying stuff and I don't think he's going to be too happy about that uh, but yeah I'm really looking forward also to seeing the developments with Kara and Cat Grant we kind of got a little bit this episode where Cat invites her to her building and everything and for a sort of job interview type thing and Kara actually has to go up against one of her classmates and everything and I like that she's really confident in what she does and everything and this guy's kind of taken back by that because she he's only seen her in the classroom and she's kind of shy and everything but she's really smart and everything and again that's that whole Kryptonian intelligence thing going on where they're actually super smart and everything so I'm really glad they bring back that and they've been doing it in the other books as well where they're not just hitting things and punching things and you know doing stuff using brute strength they're actually using their brains as well and thinking about what they're going to be doing which is really awesome really looking forward to seeing what Cyborg Superman has in store for his daughter and by the end of this issue it looks like he's managed to get into her head thanks to a sliver of him actually getting embedded in her hand or something so I imagine that's going to play a big part in it like she's in some sort of matrix thing at the end of this issue and that makes her think about Argo so that's going to be really cool I hope they continue with that sort of stuff sort of like a return to Krypton sort of thing but yeah really cool issue I really enjoyed it I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.